So, uh, hello everyone, my name is Jorge. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Electronics and Informatics at the Catholic University of Paraguay. And today I'll be sharing with you our experience of using technology to strengthen your participation in Paraguay. Uh, a bit of context, Paraguay is a developing landlocked country, as you can see in the, in the map, situated in the heart of South America. Um, the, long, the long dictatorship that governed the country in its recent history has strongly uh, shaped the culture of participation of Paraguay. Um, for most of the population, for example, um, engaging in democracy is almost exclusively associated with voting and protesting, and other forms of more proposed Propositive participation are still relegated in Paraguay. Um, the, the, the potential of today's information and communication technologies, we understand that give us the possibility to promote new and innovative forms of civic engagement, where people can participate not only by, by casting votes every certain years, but by generating knowledge proposing ideas, and by making meaningful contribution to democracy. Uh, inspired by the, the, by the increasing number of governments and civil society organizations that have begun to use technology to engage citizens in democracy, we decided to, to explore how technology can facilitate impactful processes of civic engagement in developing countries like Paraguay. In this sense, we have uh, been participating in the design, in the, in the design, deployment, and execution of three real cases in which technology was used to engage citizens in public consultation oriented to address issues of public interest. The first case is uh, was called "Voz y Voto" in Spanish, or "Voice and Vote" in English. Uh, represented uh, an initiative in which the citizens was, uh, were invited to submit ideas on how the services and infrastructure of the city of Asuncion, which is the capital city of the, of the country, ca can be improved. Uh, the initiative lasts for three months, from October to December of 2015, during the, the electoral period of the municipal election. For this case, we partner a uh, a local political party which was running to occupy seats in the municipal council of the city of Asuncion. Uh, the candidate of the, of the political party led the outreach media efforts by promoting the initiative through their personal social media profiles and also in, in newspaper and radio shows. Um, IdeaScale, which is an idea management system, was used as the main ideation space, and also a Facebook group was used as an alternative channel of, of participation. Um, in the middle of both platforms, we, we had a, an application that synchronized automatically the content of both platforms. So users, uh, independently on the, on the tool they, they choose, can access to, could access to exactly the same content. Uh, the idea of using Facebook was to reduce participation barrier by allowing people to use a familiar tool. And we also wanted to give them the possibility to participate uh, by using a, a tool that they know and without having to, to learn a new tool or to have to create a new uh, username, etc. cetera. Um, 154 people participated in, in this initiative. They generated uh, 36 ideas, posted 88 comments, and casted 429 votes. 26% uh, of them submitted ideas, and less than half of them, 80, uh, less than half of them, only observed what what happened during the during the process. Uh, the second case. Um, so to engage the public in discussion around the public education of Paraguay. Uh, by using the same platform as in the previous case, meaning IdeaScale and, and Facebook, 
uh, citizens were invited to submit ideas on how the public consultation of the country of Paraguay uh, could be improved in three uh, main themes, uh, school attendance, teacher training, and education infrastructure. Um, the initiative was organized by my university and uh, last for six months uh, from September to February of uh, 2017. Um, the promotion strategy in this case was heavily based on weekly, uh, weekly Facebook ads and, and posts. Uh, 67 people participated in this initiative. Uh, in total, seven ideas, 13 comments, and 30, 37 votes um, were generated in both platforms, Facebook and IdeaScale. Four people submitted ideas, and 73% uh, of the participants only observed what happened during the initiatives. Uh, the third case, which is an ongoing initiative, we just started this month, a few days ago. Uh, here we are not using idea scale, but we are using another platform very similar, which is called AppCivis. And we are also using Facebook to facilitate participation. And here the, the, the people are invited to submit ideas on how an iconic park of public part of the city of Asuncion can be renewed. Um, um, uh, an organization of the civil society and my university are running the, the initiative. And, and here we are, we are following several promotion strategies. Um, for example, for the first time we are combining the online activities with offline events where people can go and submit their idea, propose their ideas, and also de deliberate. The idea with this is trying to reach a uh, sector of the population that are not very familiar with technology. We are also partnering public institutions and an organization of the civil society to advertise the, the initiative through them. And also, as in the case of education, we are using Facebook ads to promote uh, to recruit participants and promote the initiatives, the initiative. Uh, since we have just started, uh, we don't have much data ab about this initiative yet. Uh, so uh, from here, I would like to focus uh, the presentation on the two cases I have already finished, uh, the boys, in, boys, and boy, boys and Boat and the one about education. Uh, by drawing on data collected uh, from a mix of quantitative and qualitative research methods such as online surveys, semi-structure interviews, and analysis of the platform activity logs. Uh, I'll be sharing with you the, the profile of the participants of this initiative, their motivation and expectations, and also the impact of these um, processes. Um, we found that in general, uh, the people that participate in this initiative consisted of equally distributed men and women, young, wealthy, well-educated, technology savvy, mainly internet consumers, not frequent voters, but more directly active in society. Um, we, we also discovered that uh, people participated mainly attracted by the possibility to contribute solutions to the problem of, of education, in that case, or to the, to the problem of the, of the city's services and infrastructure. Um, we also found that half of the participants, uh, half of the participants indicated that this initiative represent a new learning and education opportunity for them. Uh, by reading uh, what the others what the others said and exchanging arguments, they were able to, they were able to know what the others thought about their viewpoints. Um, and almost half of the participants uh, reported that they participated, uh, mainly motivated by a strong civic duty. Um, we asked the participant about their expectation in the process, and we found that 32% of them 
believe that their ideas will mainly contribute to inspire others, right? Um, and we also found that 31% of them expected their ideas to be a study, and a quarter of them thought that their ideas would be implemented. Here it's interesting to notice that people decided to participate even uh, believing that very, that very likely their ideas will not have an impact. And uh, talking about the impact of, of, of these processes, uh, we found that technology allowed people living abroad, Paraguayans living abroad, to be engaged in, in processes oriented to address issues in their home country. 13% of the participants reported to be, uh, to be abroad or to live in, uh, outside of Paraguay at the moment of these processes. Um, we also discovered that technology has the potential to engage people not civically active. 44% of the participants reported not having vote in elections in the last years. But uh, mainly the, the main impactful result of this initiative uh, was the possibility to directly influence public policies. Among all of the ideas uh, proposed in the, in the Boys and Vote initiative, the first one, first one I, I present, the political party that organized that initiative uh, promoted, especially promoted one of the ideas inside the municipality. The idea the idea about creating a plan for uh, garbage recycling and collection and classification. After some, t some time, the municipality took that idea and transformed it into a pilot plan and uh, deployed the pilot plan in some uh, neighborhoods of the city. Thanks to this pilot plan, the municipality uh, was able to recycle more than 20,000 kilograms of garbage. So an idea that, that started in a, in a platform during, during a, a public consultation process and ad, end up, ended up having a, a huge impact in the, in the situation of the city, in, this, in the cleanliness of the city. Um, and finally, I would like to, to close the talk by sharing with you the main lesson we learned from running this uh, initiative. Uh, first, people show to be more willing, more willingness or more willing to participate is a discussion topic is about day-to-day -day, uh, issues or issues that affect their daily life, such as their cities, infrastructures, and services. Then when the main theme of the, of the initiative is about a broad and complex topic such as education. Second, we found that uh, uh, promoting exclusively through social media is not an, is a, is not an effective uh, method uh, to, to attract participants. Uh, we had really uh, problems trying to drive traffic to our platform when we use, uh, an uh, when we use a structured process, a uh, promotion strategy based on uh, weekly impersonal Facebook uh, posts. However, we were more successful when we had uh, the, um, the candidate of the political party that organized one of the initiatives inviting the public to participate through his personal uh, Facebook profile. Third, one of the most common uh, feedback that we collect through the surveys and, and, and interviews was that the people wanted the organizer of this initiative to be responsive. Um, they wanted to see that the, organizer, the, that the organizers care about their contribution. They wanted to know what the organizer thought about their proposals. For uh, some of the participants uh, said that they wanted to see more clear, clearly on the, on the platform what will happen with, with the ideas when the, when the process finish, finishes. Um, so it is important to set the expectation of the participants by clearly communicating the goals of the process. Uh, in both initiatives, we were recurrently asked about the future of ideas. So people ask, 
if someone, if someone will read, if someone will study my idea, if we will present the idea to the corresponding authority, etc. So they want to, to, to know what will happen at the end. And you have to be, to be clear with that. Um, lastly, one of the, of the main comments that emerged from the participant feedback was that they, they really appreciate this, the, the effort of setting this process up, but they want to have an impact with their participation. They don't want to, to spend time crafting ideas and proposal, proposals if nothing will happen at the end. They want to have their ideas on practice. One of the key um, aspects that differentiate the, the Boys and Boat Initiative, the first one, from the education one, apart from the topic and the promotion strategy, was that we had on board a political actor with the power to push forward ideas, proposal, and needs of the people. Um, on the other hand, in the, the main concern of the people that showed to be interested in the education case was not seeing the Ministry of Education as part of the organizers or a sponsor of the initiative. Right? Given then the impression that, th that this was only a, a, toy, a toy process or a toy initiative that we were running for, I don't know, research purpose, purposes. Right? Um, all of these lessons that uh, we learned in, this, uh, in these two cases, uh, we are putting in practice in our ongoing initiative about um, renewing the an iconic park in the city of Asuncion. Uh, so thank you so much for, for your attention. I hope you find the, the, the talk uh, interesting and useful. Thank you.